Hey, hey, family, it's your girl Evelyn, and we are back with another video. And today I'm going to be sharing with you about two new Lisa Eldridge Gloss Embrace shades that I picked up. So if you are not familiar with Lisa Eldridge, she is a world renowned British makeup artist. And over the past couple of years, she has been released slowly releasing products in her line and one of her one of my favorite products from her line besides her velvet lipsticks and her foundation are her lip glosses which she calls gloss embrace and so she released i think eight new shades in the gloss embrace i picked up two because the two that i was looking at were giving very brown girl friendly so here is the packaging same as all of her other um, gloss embraces. I picked up the shade Sorcery and I picked up the shade Decade. Now, both of these glosses um, have corresponding True Velvet matte lipsticks with them. I do not have the Sorcery True Velvet matte lipstick, but I do have Decade. So I'm going to be doing, and I also have the Decade lip liner and then i also have three of her previous shades that i'm going to swatch for you as well so this is the shade sorcery when i saw this shade i said this is my nude like she melted my skin down and put it in a gloss i think this is going to look I don't want to say clear on me, but I, it's going to be a new gloss for me. And I think I'm going to love it. I feel like I'm going to wear this lip gloss out. Do you understand me? Like if I don't know what else to wear, I feel like this is going to be it. And then she did Velvet Decade, okay, which is I this shade in her True Velvet Matte Lip is my favorite brown lipstick of all time. It's my favorite. Now, the way she describes these colors on the website, I probably should have read them because I believe that um, Decade is actually des described as a deep berry or something like that. Child, it's brown. Okay, <laughs> on me at least. And then I have three of her previous shades here. I have her Decade lip liner and oh, her decade true velvet matte so all of those gold lipstick shades that you see right there that's all lisa eldridge right so let's get into it i have nothing on my lips clearly i even took off the clear gloss that i had on so i am ready for something on my lips lisa talks a lot about how these feel more like a lip mask with pigment than a lip gloss and i would have to agree when i feel like my lips are feeling crusty McCrust. I can throw one of these on and feel like I put on a lip mask, but also have my color on at the same time. So let's start with Sorcery. And I am just going to put this straight on. Nice doe foot if you're unfamiliar with it and um, kind of slanted a little bit. So I'm gonna bring you in a little closer. So you can really see. So I'm going in with Sorcery. Does it come out with too much? I knew it. Oh. It's so, it's so pretty. Now my lips are hyper, I have hyperpigmentation. I, I don't think this is going to eliminate that. Mm, but it does minimize it. Y'all, hold on. I knew that this color was going to be my perfect everyday nude. Oh, that's pretty. 
but not sticky um definitely moisturizing definitely feels like i have a lip mask on i could wear this with anything because it's also not too warm not too cool toned i let me also swatch this on my hand so you can really see what we're what we're working with here so i'm just going to get a good swatch on my hand so that's that's sorcery right there in gloss embrace hidden okay so i'm going to as much as i don't want to <laughs> i'm going to take this off and then i'm going to apply velvet decade next well first let me let me swatch velvet decade now this looks darker than the actual lipstick in decade so i'm gonna swatch this Oh, it's definitely, and it's even more pigmented than Sorcery. You can kind of see it's got a little like a plum undertone to it. So let me take this off. Okay, make sure all the color is gone. And I'm going to go in with Velvet Decade. Now, Lisa talks about how... You can wear these sheer or you can build them up depending on like how much op opacity the lip gloss has. So this one I definitely can tell has a thicker opacity, but I'm going to go through and just do one layer and see what it does. Let me bring you in. Oh, that's rich. Okay. Hmm, what do we think? This is decade. I like it. It's just that it's darker than the lipstick. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. I typically, here's the thing. When I wear dark lip colors, I like them to be mad. For whatever reason, I'm typically not drawn to dark, a dark, glossy lip, but I like it. It's still giving neutral. This reminds me, I have a gloss. You know what? I'm about to pull it out. I have a gloss um, from Dose of Colors um, from when Nima Tang did her collab, and it reminds me of that. I might do a swatch comparison later, but that's Decade. Now, I want to swatch Decade, the True Velvet Matte Lipstick that this gloss is based off of. I want to swatch it. See, it looks darker. As you can see, y'all, I have really been using this lipstick. So let me swatch Decade right next to it. Yeah, I knew it was significantly darker. So that's, that's Decade right there in the True Velvet Matte Lip. This this is significantly darker okay this is like the perfect mauve nude on me and i will say this I, I when i say i love this color um i would have loved if the liner was this color because i want to show you the liner i have the liner in decade and i'm going to show you the liner that's the liner so not really not really deep enough for me, but I could put a little bit of the gloss over the lipstick. I might just do that. Okay, I also want to swatch um, the other three shades I have from Lisa. Now, the first one is Velvet Blush. This is, y'all, this is almost empty. So we'll see if I can even get some color out of this because <laughs> it is pretty much empty. Yeah, it's pretty much empty. I need to get another one because I, I wore this one to the ground. You hear me? And you know what? I'm looking at it next to Sorcery and I can see why I like it. So that's Velvet Blush right there. It was giving mauve Nude on me. 
Now, go lightly. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this color because it definitely um, is opaque. I thought it was going to be more sheer. Oh, I thought it was going to be more sheer and it's not. So I'm going to put this right here. It definitely has some white in it. So that is, I don't know if you can see that. That is go lightly. So when I just want a treatment and I don't want a uh, color, I go with this one. And um, this one is Velvet Myth. I love her Myth lipstick. Oh, I have Myth. Um, but this is another one where it's a dark color. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more sheer. This is a dark color in a gloss, but it is still really pretty. So I'm going to, let me find a spot to swatch this. So this is Myth. So that's Myth. Isn't that pretty? Right? And let me see if I can switch. There we go. So you can get all the colors. So y'all, I, I forgot to mention that I do have Velvet Blush and Velvet Myth, which I have both in the gloss. So this is Velvet Myth. I'm going to see if I can swatch it next to Velvet Myth, the lip gloss. So that's Velvet, Velvet Myth in the true velvet lip color. And there's the gloss. Okay. And then I also have... Velvet Blush, which is the um, the lip gloss that I'm almost out of. And I'm going to see if I can swatch it. That is the Velvet Blush in the lipstick. And that is it in the gloss. So now that I've shown you all of the swatches, I am going to take Velvet Decade off. Oh, I want to swatch this Dose of Colors next to Velvet Decade. I just want to see how similar it is. Oh, it's definitely a little bit more plum. So that's the Dose of Colors. lip gloss. What's funny is I don't wear this one that much either. I actually use it more like a lip gloss liner, which is a whole thing, but that I do. But I wanted to make that comparison. So now what I want to do is I want to take off Velvet Decade. I want to um, put on Del Velvet Decade the lipstick and put the gloss on top of it. And then I want to also swipe the other three glosses for you. So it can be like a reference video for those of you who are unfamiliar with Lisa Eldridge. Let's put on Velvet Decade, the lipstick. Now I usually wear a brown liner with this, but I wanna show you what it looks like without a liner. So, that's Velvet Decade, which is a great nude for me, but I usually put just a little bit of a lip liner because it blends so much into my skin. But since I have the gloss, I'm gonna add a little bit more lipstick first. I am going to take the gloss and go over it. So I'm going to show you kind of like how I use um, gloss as a liner. Mm, that's cute. It definitely darkens it up. And so I didn't put the gloss all over the lip. I just used it like a liner. It still makes the entire lip glossy, but it kind of thins out towards the middle. Mm, that's cute. Again, I I prefer... Mm, actually, I, mm, let, me, let me not speak too soon. That's pretty... Ooh, kind of with a brown, if I put on like a brownie blush, 
Mm, I like it. I'm satisfied. I just want to show you go lightly. <laughs> it's it's not a vibe on my skin tone. It's way too light. Do you see? Like, I'm pretty sure you could do a lip liner with it. No, thank you. So when I'm at home <laughs> and I'm not going anywhere, I will use this one like a lip treatment. But that's go lightly. Mm -mm. Let me show you velvet. I mean, let me show you blush. Like I said, if I, I've used this so much, I'm like, can I get it out the tube? It's so pretty. Do you see how it's kind of a pinky neutral for me? I might have to go on Amazon and get those little things that like help you scrape your lip gloss out. Because I'm barely getting it out of there. Mm, that's pretty. That's pretty. Hence why I used to wear it all the time. It's just like the most subtle shade of pink on me. Now, I will say this. The lipstick by itself on me, which is right there, definitely requires... A lip liner let's take that off I'm going to put on velvet blush as a lipstick this it needs a liner because that's the color very pretty needs a liner I'm gonna take my Sephora lip liner this is a brown lip liner in molasses and just try to make some shake okay Now, to be fair, her lipsticks are more matte than this, but this just goes to show you how nourishing um, the lip balms are because it's not drying down matte because my, my lips are treated so well. But this is Velvet Blush. I'm going to take and see if I can get some color out of this from the Gloss Embrace and Blush. Mm -hmm. I actually like that combo together better than I like the decade. Okay. Um. Ooh. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. I like that. So that's Velvet Blush the um true velvet matte lip color and velvet blush in the gloss embrace combo and we've already done decade um in the true velvet and in the gloss embrace and i'm going to take this off and i'm going to show you what myth looks like so i want to show you what um, myth looks like on its own as a gloss and then i'm going to put the lip um the the true velvet matte lip on and then put this back on top so this is one that's a little bit more opaque oh that's pretty i love this doe foot applicator by the way So that's one dip into 
the myth gloss. You could obviously build this up to be even more sheer. I mean, to be even more opaque. But this is one dip into the tube. It's like a berry red. I actually really like it with this makeup look. Okay, so this is Velvet Myth in her True Velvet Matte Lipstick. Now, normally when I wear this, I do wear a, a darker red lip liner with it. Like, I think I can get away with it like this, but I just prefer. I'm not going to do that today because I, I really wanted to stand true. I usually use her um, lip liner in Velvet Midnight, okay, which I have the matte lipstick for that, but I use the liner of Velvet Midnight with Velvet Myth. But now, which I don't, I don't, it's funny, I haven't thought to do this kind of before. I'm going to take the gloss and I'm going to do the same thing I did with Decade because it is a little bit deeper. So I'm going to try to use it like a liner and then blend it in. Get into this. I mean, I probably need to clean it up a little bit. That's why I normally would wear a lip liner. But this is Velvet Myth with Velvet Gloss Embrace on top. I might just leave that on. That's cute. And I can already tell that like, as you know, I eat today and it starts to fade, it's gonna leave a beautiful pinky red stain on the lips. Come on, Evelyn. <laughs> I like it. So, okay, this turned into a whole, <laughs> a whole big Lisa Eldridge swatch fest. If you want me to swatch my entire Lisa Eldridge lip collection, uh, let me know because um, if you need a shade reference, there are some beautiful shades. And then there are some shades where I definitely have to maneuver them a little bit to work for my skin tone. But yeah, yeah, I picked up Sorcery and Decade, everything else I already had. I will say if I had to choose my favorites between Sorcery and Decade, it's absolutely Sorcery just because I feel like it's more kind of the aesthetic that I like. But formula wise, color wise, formula wise, all of them are amazing. I think opacity wise, I like them a little bit more sheer and this works. This is like the nude I have been looking for. I have been buying so many new glosses and they just weren't giving and leave it up to Lisa to to do it. So yeah, y'all, um, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions below. Let me know if you picked up any of the glosses from Lisa's most recent drop. I should have picked up Rain because Rain kind of reminded me of Velvet Blush, which I need to repurchase. I need to repurchase Velvet Blush and then I need to probably pick up Rain. But I'm chilling right now because y'all just saw the big huge haul that I recently did, <laughs> which was a few weeks ago for me. Like it was in January. Like today is mid-February I filmed that mid-January but y'all know me in the editing and the in the uploading whatever so you may have just seen that like a week ago, a week or so ago uh by the time you're seeing this so I don't need rain and I don't need um I keep calling these velvet blush this is just blush 
it's velvet if it's in the lipstick form. It's just the color name if it's in this. But I, I've already bought a bunch of lippies, so I don't need it. But I want it. I also want velvet sorcery in the matte lipstick because I feel like that color will be like a light beige on me. Like if I want a beigey, neutral lip or whatever. Y'all, the longer I sit and look at this combo with no liner, the more I'm loving it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what are your favorite products, uh, lip products from Lisa Eldridge? Are you are you into the gloss and braids? Are you into her true velvets? Are you into her um um I think what are they called? Like the more um shiny, clear, sheer ones, which I have a couple of those. Let me know down below. But like I said, if you if you get nothing else, get sorcery. I know that when the matte lipsticks dropped and sorcery was an option because uh, she dropped it with her eyeshadow palettes, I was like, oh, you know, I'll get it later. Sold out. Sold out. Who knows when it's coming back. So uh, listen, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you are enjoying the beauty content. I'm not necessarily trying to do reviews per se. I just kind of want to share, you know, serve more so as a library for those of you with deeper rich skin tones or those of you who are just curious. And uh, y'all, I'm sorry. I, th this, this lip is giving me life. I still got all the swatches here, by the way. So if you want to screenshot that. Um... And I will see you in my next video, y'all. Peace.